Hello, Jamie. This is uh, Robert Reed. I uh, work with design firms all over the U.S. in designing websites that actually promote uh, your your people for better construction ideas and uh, for more uh, traffic coming in. And I'm about ready to show you how. I was doing some research in the area and I came across your site. And I could see you just needed a little help. The website looks great. And um, so I made this video to give to you. Here are three tips that you can use to put in action yourself to start beating your competition online. I don't want to waste your time or waste my time either. So by the end of this video, if you like what you've heard, and you can tell I have a lot of strategies to help grow your business, and it's something that you're looking for, give me a call. We can chat. If not, no harm, no foul. Feel free to take the tips that I've given you and use them for yourself. The three tips I'm going to give you today is content, citation, and backlinks. So the first topic is content. That's basically anything that you can see on your front page. And um, a very classy, very well done website. Um, the pictures uh, behind this should have content embedded in here too. And those count. So why is content important? And I'm sure you've heard the term content is king. You want to make sure that you have enough content on your page to clearly let Google know what it is that you do and what kind of services that you offer. You want to make sure you have enough content, make sure that you're getting keywords and key phrases worked into the content so that it's natural speaking. You want to be sure you're getting found for those keywords or key phrases that people may be searching for. Someone is looking for your services, but they, they may not have heard of your branding. So that's the first tip I've got for you is just making sure that you have a lot of keyword, unique, rich content on your homepage. And you typically want to try to have about 1500 words. And um, <clears throat> so I, I, I see you got just a little short of it and uh, it wouldn't hurt to put some more on there. So uh, the second tip I'm going to give you today is about citations. So you might be asking yourself, what is a citation? So by searching your keyword over here and uh, the keyword I use was Cincinnati remodeling. It may not, there may be several keywords that may work. First thing you're going to see on the normal Google search are the ads are right here at the top. And, uh, and NG, I think, pays a lot of money for to be up there. So these are people that are paying to be the top of the search result. Now, this can be somewhat of a gamble because there's a lot of people out there that choose to specifically not click on ads. Maybe they've had a bad experience with ads in the past. I'm not sure. In 2021, a lot of people are using ad blockers. People have been getting sick of the ads over the years, and so they start stalling ad blockers so they can not see the ads. Below this is uh, below this is a map section, and in the map section seems to be a more trusted area, and people tend to like what they click. They use the button to call directly from their cell phones. And this is directly related to a citation. So what a citation is. Is essentially your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories all throughout the web, like Yellow Pages or Facebook or Yelp, <clears throat> or social or online profiles where business can put their business information in there and other services. All it does is just give you another avenue to reach more people. Basically, to be at your competition, you just have to go out and get the same type of directory listings that your competition has. But you don't want to stop there. If you really truly want to beat out your competition online, you want to make sure you have more directory listings than your competition. So at our company, we have the tools that we, we you can use to research your competition. We can find out what directories they're in, and then we can try to get to you the same ones as well. Now, the third thing I want to go over with you is backlinks and what a backlink is. It's essentially another website that's giving a link back to your website so people can find you. But not all backlinks are created equal. And so, for example, having a Pizza Hut re referring back to you is not going to do as much as having a remodeling company in another part of the state referring back to you. So making sure that you have relevant backlinks that are relevant to your industry and your services that you offer will help you dominate your competition in a search engine. I used... Uh, 
company called Neil's Design. And uh, as you can see, they have quite a bit of content on their page. And um, <clears throat> I have another tool that I use <clears throat> that's uh, called AREFs. And this is your AREFs uh, uh, information. So basically, they buy all this information from Google, AREFs does. And um, they're not exactly 100% accurate, but they, they're really close enough to be able to see uh, what's going on here. So the UR is uh, the Google, uh, what they think of you. And so from 0 to 100, they're, they're giving you a 30, which is a, little, is a little higher than most I've seen. The domain rating is the power that the, your website has. And it's a 15. Now, these are the backlinks that I was referring to, and they're coming from 76 websites. This is specifically your information. So your keywords that you're ranking for is 164, and you're bringing in 20 people a month for, for uh, traffic, which is about a little less than one per person, one per month, one per day per month, excuse me. So, so that, that's your, uh, information right here. Now I've looked at another one uh, that's doing remodeling and there's Neil's design and remodeling and just to give you an idea what they're doing they have a 33 which is close to what you had they're higher in the domain rating but they've got 12,000 backlinks going from somewhere else to their to their website and 4,000 470 websites and they're they're being ranked for 7500 keywords and they have a traffic here it is 1400 people a month so what can you imagine that would do to your business if you had 1400 people coming in and all you had to do was take and not only match what you have but to outrank it so they've, they've out, obviously outranked you. So they're getting the traffic right now. And all we have to do is to take and, and, uh, show this and then beat it with citations, keywords, and backlinks. So in the referring uh, domains, I actually see this websites that are referring to you. So you already have, so for example, uh, let's go into yours you already have we can already see what is available so I do it usually by domain rating so yellow pages is a high one that a lot of people use and is the number one the one to have super pages porch all these when you start getting down into the threes and zeros I've got two pages here these are almost not even helping you at all in fact sometimes they're they're actually hurting you. They pull power away from your website. So, um, so that's, that's how it works. And there's a, there's a lot more things that we can show you and, and do for you. But this just gives you an idea, just the top of the iceberg, what we can do. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, uh, if you're not interested in working with a marketing agency, that's okay. We, uh, that's fine. We feel free to take these steps and see how they work out. And if you can give me some feedback about this video and our strategies, I would really appreciate it. And thank you for your time and watching this video. I hope you have a great day. Bye.